Hi, I'm Katie, and the second I got my IV results last year, I thought I'd be finally done with the IV. No more stress pimples before TOK presentations, and no more panicking before English IOC presentations. It's crazy to think that I'm now a first year student at Cornell University, when this same time last year, I was anxiously counting down the minutes until I got my IV results. Three more minutes until IV results are out of okay. I'm sure you're nervous. The last two years, you've poured in so much time, effort, not to mention brain power, into memorizing formulas, finishing IAs, and hitting that 4,000 EP word count. Before you open your results, I hope you know this. Whatever happens, nothing will change what you have already achieved and proven to yourself, your peers, and your teachers in these last two years. No letter or score will diminish the grit, patience, and perseverance you have shown in one of the most difficult high school curricula in the world. Going to the IB is no easy feat, but you rose to the challenge. And that same resilient spirit is going to last you long after IB, far beyond the classroom. Okay, Katie, for real though, one year later, have you taken anything away from the IB? Honestly, I overanalyze too much and I probably interpret things as much deeper than they were meant to be. But has it made me appreciate the little things and nuances in life more? Yes. Has it made me a better companion for movies and museums because I can actually contribute something semi-insightful now? I like to think so. Even in everyday conflicts like your friend's relationship drama or your family's disagreements, you'll find that you naturally approach problems from all angles to help you form a more holistic perspective that can really help the ones closest to you. I know, because two years ago, I was the troublemaker, not the peacemaker. But seriously, the IB has helped me not only think in all these ways, but also apply my knowledge in different ways, whether that's through reading, writing, listening, speaking. And the IB has helped you refine these skills without you even realizing. So go, celebrate with your friends, support their successes, whether it's their fantastic results, obtaining a diploma, or just kissing the IB goodbye. Thank your teachers, thank your family, and don't let anyone score less than your own victory because this was your own personal journey. One thing that surprised me in college is how these struggles have created camaraderie and instant friendship between IB alumni because there's an understanding that only we share. Wherever you guys are now headed, uni, jobs, gap years, or whatever part of your life you're at, I hope you move forward with confidence because the IB has become an incredible asset for you. It has truly set you up for future success as a lifelong learner, thinker, and compassionate human being. Best of luck.